In this video, we will discuss the Blue Moon lease functionality with SiteLink eSign, that being able to look at the default Blue Moon lease with paperless options. To do that, you go to Company, Setup, Form Setup, Highlight Blue Moon Lease, and select it to be in use. Once we select In Use and click Save, we'll be prompted for the Blue Moon Setup. In this particular screen, we're going to check to use forms online and then put in your forms online information credentials that you'll get from TMSA. Once that's entered, we'll click OK. And now you're directly connected from SiteLink to the Blue Moon lease. Know that this lease will be updated if there's any changes from the Blue Moon side. You do not have to run an update. You do not have to install a CD. It will be there automatically from SiteLink to Blue Moon. There's one more additional setup item. To do that, we'll go into the setup and click on eFile Management. In this screen, we need to make sure that the electronic signing service provider is SiteLink eSign and check the option to enable electronic leases. This option will replace the print lease button on the move-in screen. Click OK to save. Once both of those setup options are completed, you'll be able to do the move-in with the Blue Moon lease and SiteLink eSign. Click on Operations, Move-in, choose your unit, a new tenant or choose your existing tenant. Your existing move-in is going to be the exact same process except that now we're set up with the Blue Moon lease. We save our move-in. At this point in time, you'll see that the Blue Moon lease is checked and we can take a payment and click on the eSign option. When we click eSign, we have several different choices including signing in person, which could be either using the mouse on the desktop to sign or handing the customer a tablet which they could then see the Blue Moon lease and sign using their finger or we could email them the link. When we email them the link they'll get a link that they can click on and sign from home using their mouse. In this case I'm going to choose sign in person. It says for the particular customer to take control. Click continue. And this is the TSSA Blue Moon lease. We can scroll through and click on the particular area that the customer is to sign and we can either choose from the predefined font or draw our signature. Click accept, move to the next screen and initial. Choose the date and the document is ready for confirmation. We click confirm signing. Now the manager needs to sign. We continue. Scroll down to the manager signature. Accept. And now we have our lease. We can email it at this point. We can also print it. The lease will be stored in the SiteLink program and can be viewed at any time by going into the company form screen. There's another screen under company SiteLink eSign console where we can manage Blue Moon leases that have been sent out for e-signature through an email. If we email the link to a customer it will show in the out for tenant signature area. Once that tenant has signed it will move to awaiting manager signature and you'll be prompted in this screen along with in the reminder screen. Once the manager has signed we will see it in the completed section. At any point in time if the tenant has not signed you can highlight that particular tenant and in the actions section you can void it. And there is also a lease audit section where we can look at how many leases have been signed and other metrics.